Hello, my name is Lucas, this is Bit of Lit, and I'm here to talk to you about some hard science fiction written by the one and only Tsuchin Liu, or Liu Tsuchin, or Da Liu, <laughs> which is his nickname. Um, anyway, this is Ball Lightning. Beautiful cover, has the Chinese name for him and his Chinese name here. Um, this was translated by Joel Martinson, and I have to say, I have mixed feelings about this novel, but uh, overall I did enjoy it uh, and was giggling to myself with glee at uh, the work here, although it does have some deep, deep, deep flaws. Um, this is a story about a young man, Chan, I believe uh, was his name, and uh, one day when on his 14th birthday, his parents are obliterated and completely destroyed, burnt to ash uh, by ball lightning out of nowhere. And ever since that day, when we get to the present day, he's gone from having a fascination with the concept of ball lightning, which from what I understand is a natural occurring event that is not well understood from what I've seen online. <laughs> I'd never heard of this before I read the book, but um, he becomes obsessed. He goes from being fascinated to obsessed and in the most wonderfully unethical ways. <laughs> um, the, there's some other characters uh, involved. Of course, you've got to have the smoking hot, beautiful uh, woman with power uh, who is on the side, of course, cannot be a main character. Unless she's causing problems, that's a problem with uh, uh, Liu. Um There's a sort of regressive view on gender in that sense, but um, she's pretty fun in the book otherwise. <laughs> Uh, she is a major um, in the military, the People's Liberation Army, PLA, and um, she is obsessed with uh, developing new weapons. And <laughs> you can imagine where this is going. You've got a character obsessed with ball lightning, which destroyed his life, his parents. And you've got another character. Um, that wants to create new weaponry for the oncoming war uh, with the imperialists. <laughs> and um, yeah, there's some other characters, Ding Yi and uh, Zhang Bin. Uh, Zhang Bin is uh, a professor who is, you know, is wary and uh, warns of, the, of some dangers and this kind of thing, but we have no time for ethics here, okay? We've got cool stuff to explore. Uh, this book is extremely hard science fiction. It goes through the excruciating details of uh, how you could possibly um, harness the power of ball lightning um, with a bunch of mumbo jumbo nonsense, but it's good fun. Uh, I learned about macro electrons, uh, which I. I don't actually know if that's real or not. I'm going to <laughs> feel foolish if it is. I've never heard of this in my life. I took some courses, uh, science courses in college. Uh, I've never heard of that, so I don't know. Maybe I didn't go far enough in my science studies to really know, but um, it, yeah, I, I feel like it's not. Because everything involved with trying to explain this is just like, <laughs> feels plausible because he does a very good job of explaining things in details. Not always clear and easy to understand, um, but that's good fun. The problem is that the characters are incredibly flat, uh, unethical and good fun, uh, but flat. Uh, <laughs> and um, yeah, I love this book until about 75% of the way into it, and then a war breaks out. Uh, and then there's like, I guess they're cool action scenes and stuff, but uh, it's just not my interest. 
I didn't like those scenes that uh, I don't really like his writing or the translation of his writing uh, to show uh, action, a military kind of battles and stuff. I didn't like it in um, the supernova era. I didn't like it in uh, Remembrance of Earth's Past. Uh, I just don't find it interesting, but <laughs> you might. Um, but I don't, you know, if you're looking for really gripping characters, uh, good luck. However, uh, if you just want to jump in joy with glee at the completely unethical state <laughs> of everything everyone is doing in this book, <laughs> I highly recommend it. It is pretty good fun. It's great, like hard sci-fi. But if you read to, uh, especially if you read fiction, to better understand the human condition, um, in some sense, it does really cover the path of obsession really well. Uh, and uh, it doesn't, you know, it's very unethical. <laughs> there are the light uh, conversations about uh, how ethical the things they're doing are, uh, which they're not at all, but... <laughs> I love this book, man. It's just, it's a lot of fun. Um, and I don't remember what I was saying, but give it a shot if you want to read hard science fiction. Now I remember. But if you're looking for uh, reading fiction or hard science fiction to have a better understanding of the human condition and that kind of thing, uh, you won't get too much of that because the main character here is ball lightning science uh scruples be damned <laughs> anyway thank you bye